Today, we're going to learn how to do an instrument tie. For this, you'll need your needle driver, your pickups, suture scissors, and really any type of suture will work fine. You can use this skill to tie and secure any knot in the operating room, but you'll often use it for skin closures or when you're securing drains or tubes in the operating room. So we'll start by picking up our needle driver and loading our needle into our needle driver. Now, we'll wanna make sure that we set ourselves up for success, and this means loading our needle with the needle tip pointed straight up towards the ceiling and the needle loaded into the needle driver at a slight 45 degree angle. We'll go ahead and grab our pickups. And for this, we'll start by throwing a simple interrupted stitch. We'll start by picking up one of the edges of our incision and passing our needle through. We'll go ahead and pick up our needle and reload it on the patient. And we'll pick up on the opposite edge of the incision and once again, pass our needle through. Now, once we've completely thrown our stitch, we're gonna wanna pull our suture all the way through until we have about a one to three centimeter tail. You definitely don't want your tail too long or too short. It just makes the instrument tie that much more difficult. Now, to do our instrument tie, we'll start by putting our needle driver in between the tail end of our suture and our needled end of our suture, almost so it's completely in line with the incision. We'll go ahead and pick up the needled end of the suture and we'll wrap it once, twice, around the needle driver, going towards the tail of the suture. We'll go ahead and pick up the very tip of the tail with our needle driver, and we'll pass the needled end of the suture over the tip of our needle driver before crossing our hands to secure our knot. Now, by crossing our hands, you'll notice that the tail end ends on the opposite side of the incision from where it started, and the needled end of the suture also ends up on the opposite side of the incision from where it started. You'll wanna do this to make sure that you throw a nice square knot. Now, for most closures, you're gonna to wanna to throw three to four knots. So we'll repeat this process by once again, placing our needle driver in between the needled end and tail end of our suture. We'll wrap the needled end of the suture once around the needle driver towards the tail. We'll pick up the edge of the tail pull the needled end of the suture over the top of our needle driver. And again, we'll cross our hands so that way the tail end ends on the opposite side from where it started and the needled end ends up on the opposite side from where it started of our incision. We'll go ahead and repeat this process one more time. Once again, placing our needle driver in between our tail and our needled end of our suture, wrapping the needled end of our suture around our needle driver once towards the tail grabbing the tip of our tail, pulling our suture over top the needle driver, and crossing our hands so that way the tail and the needled end and on opposite sides of the incision from where they started. That gives us about three knots, so at this point we're okay to go ahead and cut the tails of our suture. For most closures, you can get away with about a one centimeter tail, but different materials and different types of closures require different lengths, so if you're not sure, just go ahead and ask your resident. And once you've cut both ends of the suture, you've completed your instrument tie.